welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. I'm Ian Walsh. Today, uh, in this lesson, we're going to work on a bowing technique. It's called hokum bowing. It's also called a double shuffle. Um, we're going to be built, building the hokum bow technique around a series of double stops, A, D, and E, uh, the one, four, and five, respectively. Um, and this can be used in um, tunes like Orange Blossom Special or just in other tunes in the key of A if you feel like putting in this um, technique, this bow technique. So in this video, we're going to go over the hokum bow at three different speeds, 85 beats per minute, 100 beats per minute, and 120 beats per minute uh, to some bluegrass tracks. Um, and I'm going to show you three techniques you can use to build and increase your speed for hokum bowing. So let's get going with the lesson. All right, let's get started with some hokum bowing here. Number one, loosen up your bow a little bit. Okay, so I'm turning this uh, counterclockwise here. I'm going to go real loose because I want a lot of play in the uh, horsehair there. So I'm going to go loose to where, with just a little bit of pressure, it goes down to the all the way to the wood. Okay, so try that first. Later, we're going to tighten it up. And in fact, when we start down here by our wrist, you're going to have a little bounce because it's going to be tighter down there anyway. So let's just start with some open strings. We won't worry about double stops just yet. Just the open string uh, G and D string, might as well. So your G and your D string. And let's start going with uh, the bowing pattern here. We're gonna start with a down bow. And down up, down is our next uh, emphasis. The trick to this is putting emphasis every three uh, uh, notes, or in this case, bow strokes. So slowly, it'll look and sound like this. So there's that alternating uh, down. First it's a down that gets the emphasis, then the up bow. So you, first thing is to get that uh, pattern down. Now when the hokum bowing comes in, we start moving. So let's move, let's do G and D and A and D. And we're going to move our bow like this. So. Nice and slow. Two, three. So right away, as you're doing this, you and you're looking down your fiddle um, at your bow, you're seeing that you're getting that alternating down and up bow um, for the down beats. And playing in the middle of your bow is going to give you. Um, that's where the, the hair is going to be at its loosest right there. So you have a lot of play. And also you really need a fluid wrist for this. So you want to give your, shake your wrist out. As far as wrist movement goes, it can be tricky, especially to new uh, fiddle players on the bow. But you're almost doing a circular motion um, with your hand. Uh, imagine you have a little paintbrush in your hand and you're drawing these little circles like this. Um, it's pretty similar to what happens when you actually have the bow in there. And you really get a lot of movement from the wrist, um, not even so much of the elbow and not much of the shoulder at all. Um, so it's mostly in the wrist like that, just these little circular motions like that. So that's without putting in any of our uh, cordage here, or double stops, which is gonna be A. So let's. Let's go into the next video here, the next segment, and uh, let's, let's add in our double stops and start putting the bow together with it.